When we want to work out the area of a regular pentagon, we can use this formula here, where S is the side length. But before going through this example here, we will show where this formula comes from and why it can work. The pentagon on the left side here is a regular pentagon in the same way this pentagon is here. What we have done is we have sketched straight lines from each corner of the pentagon to the centre. It's not a perfect sketch, but it's good enough to show that a regular pentagon can be divided into five smaller triangles that are all of equal size. For each of these triangles, the base is a side length S, and the height of the triangle is the apothem of the pentagon A. The area of one of these smaller triangles is given by the standard formula for the area of a triangle, which is half times the base, S times the height, which is A. Now, as there are five of these triangles of equal size, as we've said, the pentagon area for the whole regular pentagon is five times this formula. Now, our formula we've shown that can work out the area of a regular pentagon is only in terms of S. At the moment we are in terms of S and A, so what we want to do is to find an expression for A in terms of S. Now it just so happens each one of the smaller five triangles also splits into two equal sized right angle triangles. And the base is S over 2, as it's half the length. It doesn't matter how big or small regular pentagon is, these angle sizes will be the same size each time this happens. Now for this right angle triangle, if we can remember from trigonometry, so katoa tells us that the tan ratio is the opposite side for an angle over the adjacent side. So if we focus on the angle 36 degrees, The opposite side is S over 2, and the adjacent side is A. Now the fraction on the right can be flipped around. If on the left, instead of tan 36 degrees, we write 1 over tan 36 degrees. So on the right we now have A over S over 2. Now from here, we can actually multiply both sides by S over 2. It doesn't change the overall value of everything. So what we have on the left is S over 2 tan 36 degrees. And what happens on the right side is the S over 2's cancel. And we're left with A by itself. So using one of the smaller right angle triangles that one of the smaller equal size triangles divides into we have now got an expression for A that is in terms of S. So we can look to put all this information we have now together. From here, we have 5 multiplied by a half multiplied by S. But now we can write this fraction instead of A. Now if we look to multiply this all together in two steps, 5 multiplied by a half gives 5 over 2. S multiplied here gives S squared above 2 tan 36 degrees. Then multiplying these two fractions together we have 5S squared on top, 2 times 2 gives 4 tan 36 degrees, which is the formula that we stated at the beginning over here. Painting an area can be found with just the side length using this formula. So let's go through this example and see what value we get for the area of this regular pentagon. 
Side length is 8 centimetres, so 8 goes where S is. 36 stays below. So on top we have 320. So we would need to use a standard calculator to work out tan 36 degrees, but when we work everything out, we get this result. which we can round to two decimal places which gives us a good value for the area of this regular pentagon So that is how this formula here can be used to work out the area of a regular pentagon provided you know the side lengths